Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Oh, Felix the Maid says, would you be open for us buying you a free day? Like once in a while someone would tip a certain amount and then you could have, uh, you could just relax with your wife for the day. Here, I mean, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. Yes and no. You know, if we were in the distinct idea that that's what was going to happen. Hold on one second, by the way. I heard a truck outside. I was like, could that possibly be them? They didn't call me, but no, it's not them. Okay, um, here's the thing. All right? No matter what, not working puts me behind. You understand? Like, how can I explain this? <laughs> um, as you guys know, I have a certain work ethic. I stream a lot, right? I'm here consistently, correct? A lot of people tell me that I'm one of the more or, or one of the most dependable, consistent streamers there are, that I have a set schedule. You know what I'm doing during that schedule. A lot of other streamers, they'll turn their stream on. You don't even know what they're doing today. They'll turn their stream on whenever they feel like without even giving you a heads up of exactly when they're starting. They don't take it seriously or act like professionals it, to them it's just kind of like a hobby or a mess around right yet here they are ginormous popular people with millions of viewers and stuff right it's pretty crazy i've never had that mentality since the day that i started streaming i treated it like my job because that's exactly what it is right like i treated it seriously and because of that there's been a certain level of expectancy from me, like people expecting certain things of me that I'm going to play a certain amount of gameplay, I'm going to have a certain amount of content, I'm going to be here a certain amount of time. Um, and I really have not veered from that level of content delivery in many, many years, right? I haven't. I mean, there was a time I didn't even have a whole day off. Were you aware of that? There were times when I only had half a day off a, a week. So I would stream seven days, and one day I would stream one stream, and then the second half of the day would be to go grocery shopping and do stuff. How crazy was that? That was, you know, I cut back. When when Cat moved in with me in 2018, we made a commitment. All right, we made a commitment that we were gonna have no matter what one day together a week because that was more important than whatever more benefit I would get from working seven days a week. You see. So that's why we have the one day away as it is. Now, if we were to have a situation where someone say, hey, I would like to donate a certain amount of a, a tip or whatever it may be, okay? Um, and that would allow you to have an extra day off this week, right? Here's the thing. If that were exactly what happened, then yes, all right? But typically, in a situation like that, here's usually what happens, right? So, all right, so I get a big contribution and I decide, well, because of that, now I'm gonna work less. What ends up happening is, you know, now I work less, now I'm behind. Not because I'm behind, people are upset. Not because people are upset, they don't contribute. You get it? It kind of is cyclical. It's like, you have a level of expectation of what I'm going to do and, and how I'm going to do it. And if I don't live up to it, then people get disappointed. And disappointed people don't tend to have a good time and don't tend to support that person who they're watching. Do you see what I mean? Um, so, if the whole idea was, I, you know, I'm going to tip Phil a big tip today. And I'm hoping that this tip is going to allow him to not have to work an extra day this week. And so this happens and I plan it out ahead of time and we're all of the agreement that this is what it is. And everyone says, yes, this is so you can have an extra day off this week. You deserve it. And everyone's okay with it. Then yes, that could happen. But that would have to be something that actually has planning that we all talk about, we plan, we agree to so that there's no disappointment, all right? 
Because typically, here's what I found. <clears throat> when you get a situation where you get a day where there's great support, what ends up happening is then people look at that situation because because let's be honest here, I don't have a normal following on the internet. I have both a fan base and a hater base, right? There's people who hate watch me and literally track every dollar that I make on a stream. As messed up as that sounds, that's very much the case. So if I have a day where, oh my God, Phil did really well today. Let's, I'm going to throw a number out there. Phil made $500 today and he typically doesn't do that. You know, in a given day, he would never make that much. It's just a random day. He made $500 on stream today. That's crazy. <clears throat> what ends up happening is those scumbags will make a series of videos about it. They'll put it everywhere. See, Phil made $500 today. He doesn't need your support because he's, he's rolling in it right now. So what ends up happening is I'll have a really good day and all of a sudden I'll just happen to notice that over the course of the next week, support's way low. Now what happened? That'll be the same as saying you own a sandwich shop and one day you have a rush of customers and they all come in and buy your sandwiches. Wow, I did so good. For the rest of the week, no one comes into your shop. What happened? Right? I don't know, but that's what happens sometimes. Okay? I'll have a, I'll run a marathon and the marathon will go really well and a lot of people will support the marathon and all of a sudden, the whole rest of the week is slow for support, which is no good. The whole idea is consistency, right? That I come, and I told you my philosophy, here's my philosophy. If I turn on a stream and I'm putting out honest content, right? I'm, I'm loyal to you guys. I tell you truthful statements about the games I'm playing. So you have a fair representation of what I'm playing on that stream. If I'm having a good time, whether it's enjoying a game because I really like it or just not enjoying it at all because I hate it. But as long as I'm, I'm portraying that fairly, I'm not shilling, I'm not lying, I'm not over-exaggerating, but instead I'm giving you a truthful representation of what I feel about the game that's on that stream that day, correct? So as long as I'm doing that, <clears throat> all right, then you guys will enjoy the content. You in turn will engage with said content, right? You will enjoy said content and you will say, man, I like that content and I want that content to continue. So I am going to, out of the goodness of my own heart, I am going to support that content. Whether it would be by watching, by liking, by, by you leaving comments, a super chat, a super sticker, a super thanks, a membership, a gifted membership, a tip. No matter what it is, that's all the ways that you support my content and keep me going, correct? So, with that being said, that's my philosophy, right? So, if I'm putting out the same content and it's genuine fun content and it's useful and educational and people find value in it, then arguably what you would think would happen is that every single day I would have a, a, a set amount of consistent support that I can depend on and would, would you know be the same and I could say, okay, now I'm, I can rely on that and I'm good. And that's literally not what happens. And we've talked about this as well, correct? We have. Um, we have had situations where, again, you know, I have a really good day, and then all of a sudden, for the rest of the week, it's dead. No support. Why? Oh, because your haters made a bunch of videos saying you made $500 today, so now everyone's like, haha, he doesn't need anything, so, you know, now no one came by and supported your stream today, or everyone withheld because they saw that you had a good day yesterday, and everyone talked about it in hater videos. Like, what? What are you talking about? And the thing is, I don't even know that, because I don't watch that junk. I'm here on my stream putting out my content. That's all I know. I don't watch any other shit around me on the periphery. I only know about it when people come to me and talk to me about it. That's the only time I know. I, you guys tell me in the chat or I'll get an email about it. I will never know about their junk unless you guys distinctly tell me what's going on with that junk, okay? So to me, it sucks because I, I would love absolutely freaking lutely to say, man, if I have a really good day this week, that means I could take a day off, right? But <laughs> but a lot of the times, that's not the case. A lot of the times, I'll have the good day, but then that good day is completely negated by a week after that's slow, so the good day essentially made up for the slowness, and I'm just back to where I normally am. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I know this is a really long-winded answer, but this is just what I've come to see over time. It's not necessarily always factors that I can control. Me, what, what can I control? Right here, what's on this stream and the content I put out on the stream. That's it. That's the one factor. I don't control YouTube. 
I don't control my own internet, as you can see with this Comcast issue. I don't control what people say and do about me. I don't control the hater content around there, the drama that people create artificially on the internet around me that I don't make. I don't have anything to do with any of it. All I can do is control this right here and do my best with what's on my own content stream. You see? And that's my focus. But that's what sucks is there. that's not all that affects me. Although this is all I can control, this is not all that affects me. There's all this white noise bullshit on the outside of this stream that I can't, I can't control my internet. I can't control how YouTube works. I can't control what haters say. I can't. If people would tune out the bullshit, if they would, if they would just listen to me and say, listen, if you really like me and my content, here's what you do. Every day you come here, you watch the stream, you talk with me, you enjoy, and you move on with your day, and that's it. You unplug. When this stream is unplugged or the, the on-demand video is done, you're done. Do not watch any of the periphery shit, and you will enjoy this a lot more. There's so many people that fall down that rabbit hole of bullshit. They listen to all the trash that people say about me and everyone else around me, and they get sucked into that toilet. It's what it is. It's a toilet. And once you get sucked into the toilet, it's hard to get yourself out because it's flushing. You're getting pulled down. You know what I'm saying? And there's really nothing I can do. You you might watch my content, all right? And then all of a sudden, five related videos show up that are all negative, right? You could literally be watching my marathon stream and a marathon stream I do well, people, you know, support. And then it goes offline and here's a detractor video. Phil makes this much money in his stream. He's an e-beggar, blah, blah, blah. What? Wait, I just watched the stream. The stream was good. The stream was entertaining and fun. People supported it. That's a positive. But you spin it as a negative, right? And then you get bombarded with that negative shit. And it's ridiculous that you do. But that's how YouTube works, right? So I get it. That's kind of the nature of the beast. But at the same time, it sucks because like you just suggested. What if <clears throat> someone contributed a big amount and said, here, take the day off, right? First of all, I wouldn't be able to just take that day off. It would have to be a planned thing, right? Like, okay, if Phil gets a big contribution and everyone agrees, then maybe I'll take a day off next week, an extra day off or something like that. But then I literally have to have a week where every other day is a normal day and I'm making a good amount of support and everything every day. It can't be I have the one good day, but then I have four slow days. Well, now I can't take the day off. Do you see? <clears throat> In general, um, that's how it works, right? So... You know, that's 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 the situation being a content creator of my level. There are many content creators that are bigger than me or content creators that are seen in a much more favorable, positive light and they get tons of opportunities that I don't get. They get opportunities for sponsorships, partnerships, paid product placements, referral codes, shill, shill, shill. And those people don't have to work as much as me. They get to take time off. They get to go on travel and do vacations and go on work trips and things like that. I can't do that. I can't. Those days are over. You know, those days were over 10 years ago. Right? And there's nothing I can do about that. I can't make time rewind. I can't make 10 years of slander go away. Um, all I can do is push forward positively. Right? All those people who get that flexibility are not me because they're not me. Get it? That's why they have that they can do what they they want to do that that amount of control over their their work or whatever they do. I don't have that. I literally have to sit here and grind and make the content I do in order to make ends meet, okay? Um that's just my reality. You know, and my wife and I have come to terms with that although we want it to get better. We want to have two days off a week because ideally one day off should be the day where I run errands. Like I go grocery shopping, and, and appointments and all of that. And we should have another day off that we get to spend together as a family. That we could go have fun. Go on a nice long date long a date day. Or hey, we want to do stuff in the house today. We have time to do it. We don't. I'm not kidding you. It took us years to clean out our garage. We just finally cleaned out the garage to the point where I need like one more big clean out trip to maybe the dump. And then the garage will be clean where we can actually like thoroughly redesign and clean it and use it for something. It's been sitting there, <clears throat> right? For years and years and years. And we just don't have time to do anything with it. You know? I've got broken down rooms. i got a whole bathroom that doesn't work. I can't. I don't have time to do anything with it or even plan for anything for that. You know? I, I'm here six days a week. You know? So, ideally, I want things to get better. And by the way, I should say this, that they are, they are moving in the right direction. They are. And if things change, 
in this country, in the economy and stuff. You know, if things had gone a different way and if these last few years there wasn't record high inflation and interest rates going up, I might have been in an even much, much better position to the point where I'd have more money and more flexibility with my life. It's just bad circumstances, things that have happened that are, again, things outside of the realm of my control. This is what I can control, what you see. I can't control the United States of America and interest rates and inflation and internet and trolls and how YouTube works. That's the shit I can't control. All I could control is right here, okay? And that's what I focus on and try to do my best with. So, <clears throat> you know, I absolutely would love to have another day off a week. But even if someone were to step up and say, hey, here's a big contribution, take Friday off. I couldn't guarantee that that would work. You know what I'm saying? We could plan for it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work. And that sucks. You know, but that's that's really <laughs> out of my control at this point. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids.